so so with our with our, with the mediumship, we need to make sure that if whatever type of mediumship we're doing, whether it be automatic writing, whether it be direct mediumship, whether when, when I say direct mediumship, whether it be a relayed type of a mediumship, whether it be trans mediumship, or whether it be soul to soul mediumship, which is where you will develop to, and um, any form of mediumship. My soul modifies the contents of the message. So can you see why getting rid of a lot of your emotional baggage is so important? Right? Because if, if you're... The problem with being a medium is that people will look to you for accurate information. In the process of that, if the information... And you love your mediumship, right? It's an enjoyable gift to, to utilise because you want to help people. But if your soul is modifying the information going to that person, then obviously now you have a culpability as a teacher for what that person is receiving. Now that has its own law of compensation issues associated with it. If your intention is to retain your emotions in a, in a first fear condition and do that, then there will be law of compensation issues associated with that. Does that make sense? The key is to not be afraid of them, of the law of compensation issues, because they're all based around your intention. If your intention is to deal with your emotions, and your intention is to be modest, then what will happen is you'll say to yourself, ah, uh, this guy's come along to do some mediumship with me, and I could do a channeling, and I can feel the spirit there that wants to talk to him, but I must make a proviso at the start, or a, let's call it a disclaimer, and that is, I'm sorry, my friend, but I am actually very angry with men. So some of this mediumship that I'm going to do for you may come across quite angry with men. And if you feel that, just discount that, because that's probably me. <laughs> it's not this spirit. All right? However, if you're channeling his mother, who is still angry with men, it might be awesome to give him that message, right? <laughs> because if, in terms of accuracy as a medium, if his mother's angry with men, you're angry with men, then you're a great medium to give him what for, right? right? <laughs> and can transmit the message as mum is transmitting it. So can you see you need to know what your condition is? And also understand the condition of the person. David, let's just be honest. But won't you be channeling or attracting spirits that are similar to your soul condition? Not always, because remember, in the section that I haven't to go on through and I won't, I've actually said that there's a there's the law of attraction is working to actually draw who is going to communicate with each person. So, I'm the person who's visiting the medium. Let's say Brian's the medium, and let's say Tristan's the spirit. Right? All of us are being attracted together because of our soul conditions. So, so that being said, like my condition, not just the medium's condition, is determining which spirit is talking to me. You follow me? Yes. Because of that, it's the amalgamation of my condition, the medium's condition, and the spirit's condition that will determine the content of the message. So it's not all just about the medium's condition, but my focus is on the medium in terms of developing their condition. But the condition of the person coming to the medium and the condition of the spirit coming to the medium will determine the contents of the message. Now, if you're a clear medium, you will be able to say, Oh, wow, your mum's here, mate. And she is so angry, eh? Hey? She's really angry with men, right? You know? And you'll be able to say all these things because you're feeling that from her, and you'll be able to accurately describe her condition to the person you're helping. And then you'll be able to say the message, and then you can put a proviso on the end of, Yeah, but I don't know if I'd be listening too much to her at the moment because she's really angry with men, right? And she needs to deal with that anger. And you may actually talk, be able to talk to the spirit about her anger even and help her if she wanted help. And you then are really effective as a medium. Mm 